Hey guys, welcome back here. We're going to do a Rate My Base episode, hopefully. Uh, I have a feeling he's online. Currently, he has 930,000 in gold. So most likely, when they have that much gold, it means they're online actively farming. So we're going to take a look at the king. We're using King Bladestorm. A little bit of blunt damage there. And then a little bit of normal damage there. So nothing really spectacular. Okay, sir, let me disarm you. But I wanted to make a speech. So again, a ton of loot, so probably online. Um, so we're going to try and run through this really quick here. We're going to bring cannons, of course. Cannons will help us kill these things right here. Uh, he has a lot of fireball towers, so we're going to bring pyromancers. And then we need a uh, firestorm. I don't think we have bladestorm unlocked on this account yet. So we're um, stuck with using... Hammer Strike, and then we'll use Sword Rain. Sword Rain is level 6, I want to say. So we're going to go like this. And amazingly, he's actually not on. So this is a big raid for us. Massive loot, so lots of cannons. And you can see it takes a lot of hits to even kill that barricade, so... Uh, he is a very high level player there. The pyromancers over there, his troops are going to just demolish the cannons. Uh, I can't even kill the pyromancers in one hit with my sword ring. They come back and regenerate some. So we're definitely not going to be able to get all the way through his base. Uh, we're just going to try and get as much as possible since it's a good haul no matter what. We've already gotten uh, 40,000 in gold. So if we can get around this corner here, we might actually be able to do a decent amount of damage to him. We're going to be able to get past the choke point over here now. And we're going to be able to bring out cannons and pyromancers and such. So we need to backtrack a little bit and heal as we're almost dead. Because all I kept thinking was, he's going to propose. He's going to propose. Well, Again, we're going to run back and regenerate some. Have you never thought of visiting... And why should I go to Africa, Mr. Cox? I know more African than you are. Well, not much more. But my people will came over the 70s. We won't go anywhere. So we're going to hopefully be able to take out this... Yeah, that tower right there. So you see that gave us a lot more uh, loot. We might be able to get the spikes up here. Spikes typically have a lot less life. So we have to try and target the spikes. Uh, not going to happen, though. Too many units in the way. So overall, we get a, a nice amount of loot. With the gold boost, it came out to 357. Very, very tough base. His barricades are really high. His blockades are really high. So I don't know if it's extremely high loot because I'm a low trophy range. You can see here we're at 1600. Or if he actually had a lot of loot on him. So it appears he had a lot of loot on him because he dropped down tremendously um, to, you know, the game maximum. So 
that's a good thing for him necessarily that I attacked him rather than someone else that could get 100% uh, because it looked like he had like 1 or 1.5 million in his treasure chamber and whenever someone attacks you that first person has a chance to steal a whole bunch of it you know close to 50% or so roughly uh, and then everyone else only gets a very very tiny amount of that so the first person that attacks you can score the biggest haul and that's why you'll see sometimes people have like a million in loot or you know such like that and then a few seconds later they drop down to you know 50,000 or 167,000 uh, that kind of loot like that so you can see everything else is still roughly the same 59 trophies uh, 470 medals and so those are they change the system up but it's still a good gauge the higher the amount of medals and higher amount of trophies typically means a stronger base and you saw how powerful just his barricades are uh, we had so much trouble getting past them that we were pretty much happy to get right here and like a static uh, we got you know 200,000 loot um, I, we, I think we gained some trophies and we got a nice amount of medals just for getting over here so you can see that's how powerful these towers and stuff get everything worked out fairly well for him um, he had a fireball cannon up here, which is very effective, and I'm sure took out uh, all the cannons that I had. And I had to summon those very, like, once I got way over here. Um, the only thing that I think that might have possibly been better for him uh, would be have a, like, a barricade over here, even though it can get, like, double hit. Um, the spikes really don't do much. They're not that effective. So swapping those out for either more barricades, even just putting um, you know barricades right where the spikes are here would have caused us a lot more time loss. So overall, the base looked really really solid. Um, it's a good design. We have connection here, so the troops are going to sit here and attack your reinforcements. And then again, they're going to attack them on this side over here. And then you have a lot of clutter over here, which doesn't take a while to get through. So your hero can't get up here and like kill the troops that are attacking all your reinforcements. So this base is a very, very effective base. Um, yeah, I don't see anything that I necessarily change, except for the spikes. Like I said, the spikes, once you get into higher level gameplay, they don't really have much effectiveness. They're not powerful unless they... Um, you know, changed them and made them available to go to like level 15, which I don't believe they did in this update. Um, the spikes just aren't aren't worthwhile to upgrade. They're a waste of money, and they don't you know don't really help your defense. Otherwise, everything else looked fairly good. Um, so I would just change out the spikes for barricades or blockades, the the metal ones. I don't know. I forget the phrase on which one they are. The barricade or the blockade. But I would change those out. Uh, that would also slow down your opponent a lot more and definitely push them back further in your base. If he had these were blockades, he probably would have only gotten to like maybe right here because you saw how much time it took to kill those barricades. Even this one right here, this one took like three cannon shots, a hammer strike, and a firestorm to kill. It's pretty impressive. Uh, so that one probably is a level 12 um, wooden barrier. Yeah, overall, this is a very, very good base here. Um, good design for a lower level player, or midi, a middle level player. So this, I definitely give this a 10 out of 10. Um, the only thing I guess that I would change is the spikes. Change those up to barricades or barriers, whatever the metal ones that are. And you have a really solid base and just, yeah, keep upgrading things and great job there.